Hi, my name is John. Welcome to another video in a series of videos reviewing this Artec CNC plasma system. This video is going to be another art type video. I'm going to show the, the downloading of an image a friend sent us. I'm going to use all the built in software to transfer it into the actual CNC system so I can cut it out for them. At first, I found the CNC saying a bit quite daunting. But after watching all the tutorials, I'm starting to pick things up and I'm actually starting to now enjoy the drone side of it and the computer side of it. Anyway, I hope you find it interesting. Right, the first thing you need to do is open Inkscape. Go into File. Import, because we need to bring an image into the, into the system. The image is actually in my desktop. Desktop. It's in a folder called Artec Images, strangely enough. Open. These are some of the various shapes I've been cutting out. Right. Open. Okay. Right, so now we've got the, the image I'm going to cut in the program. We need to edit it. We need to change the, the format of the image. So we'll click Path. Trace bitmap, update, OK. Now it looks like nothing's happened, but if you actually get a hold of it and pull it away, we've now got two images. That's the image we're going to use. This image here, we need to delete. Bring this one back in. Right, we'll close that down. Right, we need to change all needs me to give it a dimension and give it a size because we've got a certain piece of metal we need to cut it out of. So we'll take object, transform. Right, so we need to, to scale it. So if you click scale and click scale proportionally, that means it'll, if you increase one axis, it'll increase the other one. And we're going to put it in, in inches. Right, we need it to be eighteen inches long. Apply. Right, so that's scaled it up basically to the size we need to cut. So I'm gonna see if this Save as. I'm going to give it a name. Oh, text bit for you. Save. Right, next we need to work with sheet cam. In sheet cam we'll go file. Once again it's import role. It's gone straight to desktop. If we looked on the desktop, that's what we've got. That's the image we created in Inkscape. So if we open that. Okay. Right, that's brought the Spitfire into the viewing plane. Next we need to set some parameters for cutting it. So we'll click here operations. Outside offset, that means it's going to cut from the outside and into it. You don't want to cut it from the inside because it would spoil it. The layer's white. And the material, we're actually going to use 5mm plate. So if we look down here, 4.76, 45 amps. That's the material we're going to be using. The lead in's a tangent. The length of the lead in's 5mm, that's alright. All these can be changed, but basically the default settings, it will work. Okay, so we're happy at that. What you can do, you can click on here, and you can simulate it being cut. Start. So that's where it's going to start. Obviously it'll go a lot slower than this, but it still does cut it out quite quickly.
Right, next thing you need to do is create a G code from that image. So we'll click on here, click P. It's going to be called Artex Spitfire. Click Save. OK. And that's created the G code. If there was a problem, it would come up and tell you. Before I cut the part out, I want to do a test cut. So I want to load a J code. I've already set it up. It's 100 mil test, 5 mil. Open that. That puts the drone in there. It's a, it's a straightforward straight line. Zero, zero. I'm going to load the J code, click load J code, and the J code is called Spitfire 5mm because it's just Spitfire, it's 5mm plate. Open. Right, it's brought the image into the screen. Right, that's the shape we're going to cut out the Spitfire. I've zeroed the X and Y axis where I want to start. Click Regen on there. Right now I'm going to move the plasma cutter manually just to make sure I can get it in because it is quite a big piece. It's 20 inches long, so we'll move along. Off. And you can certainly tell what it is. 